Peru is currently under the longest period of mandatory isolation in the world. The country has more than 129,000 COVID-19 cases and is currently under a state of emergency. And yet, in some shocking visuals which have emerged, hundreds in Peru can be seen defying quarantine orders. Peru was one of the first nations in Americas to put strict measures in places to combat this deadly infection. And yet, it is one of the worst affected nations in the region from COVID-19. So far, the country has reported 129,751 COVID-19 cases with over 3,788 deaths. And despite an alarming rise in cases, hundreds were seen defying quarantine orders near Lima's largest textile market. Huge crowds gathered near the closed Gamara market to shop. This even as the country has extended its state of emergency and ordered a nationwide lockdown till the end of June to curb the transmission of this virus. And yet, the government wants some form of normalcy to resume. This pandemic is going to go on until we have a vaccine and we have the ability to immunize our entire population. As long as that has not happened, a large percentage of the population will be susceptible to being infected. And those are the people that are trying their hardest to not become infected. As long as there is this possibility, we as a government have to guarantee that our people live and go about their activities within a sphere of security and norms of respect for this new coexistence which has its guiding principle that we should avoid infecting one another. Commerce here in Gamara is not authorized. Nevertheless, we saw a large number of people who broke that rule yesterday and who are irresponsibly coming to take part in commercial activities. We clearly understand the needs of these people. There are people that after 70 days are living day to day and need to work, but we have to come to an agreement. Lima, the capital of Peru, accounts for 62% of the nation's COVID-19 cases. It is important to note that Peru was one of the first nations in Americas to introduce strict measures like stay-at-home orders, curfews and border closures. And yet, it is now only second to Brazil in South America with the highest COVID-19 cases. The COVID-19 pandemic has laid bare the country's socio-economic crisis. The deep inequality in Peru is the reason why many of Peru's poor have no choice but to defy the lockdown and step out of their homes for essentials.